Well, good evening, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the US markets, or should I say European markets, end of day, and uh, insight into US markets as well. Please be sure to visit Trade Signaler, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignaler.com. You can certainly download the app and the, at the uh, Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so Wednesday session, end of day's trading, 3rd of November 2016. Let's just bring up the uh, stats. Basically, you uh, have the US markets at present currently still uh, remain negative, actually making new lows at one point before they actually finally retraced. Okay, the Nasdaq certainly making a pivot low of 4717 uh, or 16. I know that very, very clearly because I was stopped out on my, uh, on my long position. The uh, FTSE 100 certainly clobbered again today, minus 1% on the back of obviously stronger uh, oil supply data. Okay, so again, hurting the FTSE. German DAX, uh, again, uh, crash bang wallop down 155 points today, down to a pivot low of 10,370. But according to stats, again, the French CAC down 55 points. So certainly um, a negative, um, uh, obviously, bias. You have the Asian markets down as well. Okay, so again... Uh, so again, indicating risk off or risk aversion. Now, fundamentals. Let's um, let's go fundamentals. Uh, let's just certainly uh, discuss the potential uh, fundamentals today. Okay. So again, uh, we had stronger data this morning from Germany. German employment data certainly stronger. Uh, PMIs as well from the UK to EU, Germany, France, all certainly coming out better than expected. Certainly stronger to a large extent. Uh, but the concerns certainly are uh, dominated by. Mr. Trump's uh, obviously presidency. So again, that certainly is overshadowing any good news. I did expect the uh, stronger UK, German, European, French PMIs. Uh, obviously, uh, you had the uh, market manufacturing PMI as well on the European side. Uh, you had German data certainly stronger, especially employment. You had UK PMI construction stronger as well. I certainly expected that to negate uh, the uh, the actual Donald Trump concerns and actually trigger a short squeeze, and that failed to occur, unfortunately. That has not uh, transpired, uh, I'm, I'm afraid. So again, we're back to uh, back to the um, Trump concerns, and Trump concerns, from my perspective, I think, are really baked in. You had uh, ADP employment data certainly coming out weaker, but last month's were revised stronger. Therefore, you were expecting the US dollar to continue its strength. Then you had the EIA crude oil stocks certainly coming in strong. I mean, one of the largest uh, stockpiles of crude again. Uh, hammering crude oil okay sending it lower okay and then we've just had the feds interest rate decision as well again uh just now literally a few, a few minutes ago i was waiting for that to come through in order to do the video and we certainly are um certainly sending the us dollar higher and sending the euro and the aussie and the kiwi lower so dollar certainly strengthening from that perspective okay right so uh, again uh, from my perspective my understanding is that the uh, trump concerns certainly have been baked into the cake to a large extent with the s p holding and clinging on 2100 okay and uh, post fed the markets actually managed to rally so that's a good sign okay now let's look at the actual uh, fundamental or should we say technical sorry Let's look at the technical picture. So German DAX technical picture, you are certainly, you've closed the gap. I was expecting a bounce from that gap, but you are now coming into horizontal support at 10,350. Okay, so 10,350 is your support zone, the German DAX. And therefore, from this juncture, I would certainly have a, a bullish bias. The HNS formation certainly has completed. You've actually hit the target of 10,350 and you've actually exceeded that now. Uh, well, you're almost, sorry, we're almost there now. Okay, 10,350, and it coincides with the horizontal support at 10,350 as well. So bear that in mind, okay, on the German DAX. Going over to the French CAC, let's go to the daily chart of the French CAC, folks. Okay, so diagonal trend line support, okay, approaching gap fill support at 4,405. Uh, on the uh, the French CAC, so 4405 is a support zone, and that's a level that I will be more than happy to actually buy the French CAC as well. Certainly looking for a potential bounce with the uh, unfilled gap above potentially being the target and uh, attempting to close that as well. Looking at your fib retracement as well, you are into that fib 75%, and therefore it certainly warrants a potential rally. You're into gap fill here at uh, 4405, as we all know, so again, you've closed this gap. Uh, certainly flushed quite substantially the HS formation as well let's just quickly give you an insight here from a HS perspective although the right shoulder is not exactly the most technically correct okay uh, you had a pivot high here of uh, 4580 down to uh, 4500 so looking at 80 point drop 
So you are looking at 4420. Now we are into 4420 and therefore HS should be complete. Now let me just write this here for you as well. HS 4580 minus 4500 equals 4420. Looking at a 20 point or 80 point drop here. Okay, so let's just highlight that for you so you know. Okay, and again looking for gap fill. Now if the market flushes again on the French CAC, you have horizontal support below at 4370. So certainly looking for a pop potential pop higher here. Okay. Uh, let's just quickly go to the smaller time frame again a 10 minute chart let's just give you an insight in the french cac here you are making lower lows lower highs that certainly can't be ignored okay but bear in mind the larger time frames are indicating support so 4415 4405 certainly solid solid support on the french cac and my bias certainly would be uh, bullish especially with the uh, the actual uh, fed state that they're going to raise rates and therefore the dollar starting to rise uh, the dollar weakness has actually caused the euro and the key and the and the sterling to rise, which in turn has obviously caused havoc in the European equities. With the dollar moving higher, you are going to see sterling and the euro move lower, and therefore will provide a reprieve and a potential rally in European equities. Okay, folks. Right. Uh, let's look at the FTSE 100 now. Where art thou, FTSE? Here we go. Okay, FTSE butchered again today, mainly due to oil. Okay, so I was expecting this support, as you all know, to certainly hold. Okay, and looking for a potential pop off this level at 6930. Once we gave through, the market just certainly started to collapse. Okay, certainly an immense sell off. So you are into that 75% now, although after hours we did actually go as low as 6825. 6825 is your support. Your next level of, of key support is 6810 and potentially 6760 if, if the market really starts to flush. Okay, on the daily chart. 60 minute chart, there's solid, solid support around the 6830 zone. So, watch out for 6830. I, I did expect the 6880 zone to hold, that certainly you know, failed to. And the market flushed and uh, certainly stopped me out there again. So, certainly a day of stop outs, really frustrating. But that's the uh, that's the market for you at present. Okay, so that's the situation that we find ourselves in at present. Okay, the 10 minute chart, the FTSE 100, you certainly are making lower lows and lower highs. Again, there is a potential base being built here at 48. 6848 so again let's see how that transpires also remember that you do have an unfilled gap left above at 6920 where the market can certainly target okay now we do have oil coming into support so again oil should actually help the FTSE let's just quickly go over to oil bring up a chart of oil for you give you an insight here Here we go okay so oil at present on the daily chart let's just bring this up for you you're coming into horizontal support on oil okay so certainly looking for a potential bounce as well again support zone around the 44.5 okay so i won't be surprised if we start to bounce early okay so certainly bias bullish from my perspective on um, on uh, the price of oil and certainly a sell-off certainly is overdone okay especially with the um, the actual um, OPEC meeting very shortly as well, LJs, etc. So again, you are looking for some short short covering there as well. Okay, on that note, be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. And uh, the bias from my perspective is certainly bullish at this juncture. Goodbye now.